Welcome to the module on emergence profiles and the perio process management of the furcated tooth given by doctors Bernie Kroll in a three-part series by Dennis Tarnow. My name is Bernie Kroll and I would like to talk to you about emergence profiles in natural tooth contour. First of all, I'd like to describe the development of the emergence profile concept. I would also like to describe what is the importance of the emergence profile concept. Now another very interesting thing to look at at the, at the illustration in the upper right hand side is the fact that somewhere near the gingival tissue there's a whole bunch of bright horizontal lines which in fact are reflected back from the flash in the camera. If you look at this projection of this tooth with the gingiva superimposed on it. There's a blue line here. I'd like to thank you for your attention. Today we are going to talk about the periodontal and prosthetic management of furcated teeth. Uh, my name is Dr. Dennis Tarnow. I'm clinical professor of periodontics and prosthodontics at Columbia University College of Dental Medicine. I'm also director of implant education there. It's a pleasure to have uh, you attending with us today. And we want to discuss uh, furcated teeth, which to me is one of the lost arts that has uh, kind of fallen by the wayside since implant dentistry has become so popular. But furcated teeth are with us every single day with, with our patients. We have to understand how to diagnose the, whether there's a problem and then, of course, how to treat that problem. We then can put a, a, a membrane over this. In the in previous years, we used to use non-resorbable Teflon membranes. Today we use resorbable ones, but we modify the incision so that we do a coronally positioned flap, as you see with this next diagram. Uh, we go short of the papilla, and we go intracircularly on the buckle, and then we open the flap, as you see here on the next slide, and then we clean out the defect, and then put a piece of membrane over this frication, and then hike the flap up over the top of this, over the contact point. And this is how we're doing this, uh, you know, to try to make sure the membrane is covered. Uh, today, with resorbable membranes, we don't have to do this quite as high, but it's still nice to do this anyway. We, we, we currently position this, as you see sutured here now, and here's the clinical example of this case. Hello, this is part two of our series on periodontal and prosthetic management of furcated teeth. My name is Dennis Tarnow, and I'm a clinical professor and a director of implant education uh, at Columbia University College of Dentistry. One of the critical things about dealing with furcations, what makes them so difficult is the fact that there's very unusual furcation anatomy. So let's take a look at the surface uh, morphology of these teeth. Here you see a tooth that was taken out. Now what's the significance here? If you have an enamel projection, you do not have regular gingival fibers and no cementum there. It's covered, you have enamel, and the only type of adherence you have is what? Long junction epithelium. So this, if it gets if, the, if a person has an enamel projection and it's deep, like a type 2 or certainly a type 3, you can, in the presence of any plaque, you can unzip literally right down to the, right into the furcation overnight. This is why, another reason why furcations will open up if you get inflammation, if you have this kind of enamel projection. In a series of periodontal and restorative management of furcated teeth, my name is Dennis Tarnow, and I'm clinical professor and director of Implant Education at Columbia University College of Dentistry. You see the furcations that are uh, class 3 furcations. Uh, and here, after I cleaned it out, you can see the furcations are through and through. Here you see two implants. And of course, this became a support for this patient, uh, as opposed to trying to save parts of teeth like we did in the past. But there's still a place for it in the right patient. I want to thank you for your attention, and I hope you enjoyed this three-part series on furcated teeth.